Alright, there we go. Um, hey guys, welcome back. I've got Danny with me because I meant to do this last time I was playing, but he wasn't available at the time, which is not his fault. Uh, but no, he's here to ner nerd out with me while I play it. Yeah, Dragon Quest nerding out. Yeah. Fucking up. Yeah, so it's mostly because I know that the grind is, I get quiet during the grind, so, um, and if the story isn't going, you know, then I, I, obviously if the story is going, you know, there's people talking, I don't talk, Danny won't talk either, um, but, like, d during all the other parts, uh, it's just, I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say, rather. Yeah. And hopefully the audio I fixed, because I noticed it was way too fucking loud, you guys I mean, could barely hear me. <laughs> and you could only hear, hear the game last time. The game, you're, the audio knows it shuts up Cat because the game's too good. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, at the beginning I know why the volume for the game was so loud, I just forgot to turn it down. It's because, like, the, I wanted the music up louder for the cutscenes. So, I, I'm, you probably already told me, Danny, but it's something just to start a conversation while I'm grinding here. Um, you've played Dragon Quest VIII, right, on the DS? On the 3DS, yes. Yeah. But you haven't played it the uh, old one, which, I don't know how uh, different the two are, other than the 3DS ad stuff, but... Yeah, well, from what you told me the other time... Apparently, they might have uh, weakened the first boss a bit. Yeah, the 3DS, because, I, I'm almost certain if you, if you don't have to grind for it on, on the 3DS, then they definitely weakened it, because you definitely need uh, to be... What level am I right now? I'm only... I'm level 6. Yeah, no. When I... All I had to do, I just explored the dungeon a bit, and then it's like, okay, well, here it goes, the first boss, and it's like, okay, go. Yeah, but like, what was your level during that? At, I think it was only at 4. Yeah, no, they definitely, uh, they, they definitely weakened the boss in that case, because he hits hard in this one. Hmm. Uh, another thing I know the 3DS version also changed was the uh, alchemy. Yeah, well, and that, I'd rather not get that, into that. I, I didn't actually know they changed, changed that. That's actually interesting. I do actually want to know more about that, but once we get to it, I haven't unlocked that yet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't want to particularly spoil anything about the game is the thing, um, but you, you could talk about the things that the game doesn't, that you know doesn't have, um, that isn't spoiler, like, uh, the party members, extra party members. That was pretty... Well, yeah. Not particularly uh, who so they are, just you got extra ones. Yeah, two new playable characters, and both were available after doing basically their main thing or doing like a sub quest group. Well, one was finishing an important, like an important sub thing of the game, and another one was doing like a couple quests, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Both were, and both are really good characters. One of them basically be being like the best character and the other one being not as good but still like a yeah. good part an interesting one to say the least also i went the completely wrong fucking way i ended up near the uh bridge to trodain <laughs> i hate how the start that's the one thing i do hate actually about this business games particularly the starting area has two paths or two doors from town and i always get mm. confused on which one to take yeah I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember when I first started playing it, and I got confused for, like, the first hour or so. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know how the skills and the, lo the level skills, if they actually, yeah, actually, that's interesting. In the 3DS version, do they, like, tell you what each of the skills have, like, if you level up a certain skill, uh, like, Boomerang Sword, whatever, the, the, yeah, yada, yada, do they... Can you preview what the skills for that are or not? Yes, actually. The, okay, so that's the interesting thing, Danny. The 
PlayStation version, you do, it doesn't tell you what the things have if you level them up. It just says, oh, this is basically what it is. Oh, humanity is for, uh, is, it gives you, like, a description, but doesn't never says any skills. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's another, like, really nice quality of life change they did for the previous. It's that, not only can you see what you can get, it also tells you how much points you need to invest to get that skill. Yeah, so, th like, I figured it was that way because Sentos of the Starry Sky did the, basically the same thing. Mm. Um, but that's the oddest thing. Believe it or not, I actually prefer not knowing. Really? Yes, um, because, for example, y you, in particularly because you played the 3DS version, knew that humanity gave Yangus a healing spell. Yeah. And normally, when you think of Yangus's whole character, you would think he's the sort of, like, brute or a uh, character that wouldn't get mana in in uh, terms of yeah. Dragon Quest classes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, leveling up humanity early is something really, really useful for Yangus. Because he, like, I think it's only, like, a couple skill points he needs, and then he'll get healing right off the bat. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's more so, like, it's a surprise. It's like a nice surprise. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a very nice surprise. In fact, when I was playing, I only leveled up Humanity and uh, Courage because I liked the, like, uh, character-specific skills more than anything. I just had forgotten that he gets healing. Mm, yeah, gotcha. so it was a nice surprise to see that happen. Oh, fuck, I'm... Yeah, I, I can understand that. For me personally, I always like knowing what I'm going to invest to, which is why, like, for me personally, I will. If the game doesn't tell me, I would generally find a guide because I, I don't like feel like I wasted my investment points, especially in Dragon Quest Eight, where in neither version you can, you can take back the points. Like you can take back the points and then reinvest the storm routes. That's uh, those yeah. are permanent changes. Yeah, that's that's a nice. I mean, yeah, that that. It would be nice for that, but, uh, another thing I wanted to ask, in the 3DS version, I don't know, it probably does tell you, if anything, if it told you that, or maybe it doesn't have it anymore, I don't know, but, um, for what? Hero, did you know leveling up his swordsmanship and courage all the way gives him a special skill? I actually didn't know that, because, uh, I didn't invest fully into those, so I never really checked out what skills, I invested in, uh, Boomerang... Oh, Yeah. I mean, I like Boomerang as much as the next guy. It's good for multi-hits, but, like, I wouldn't invest in it as a primary weapon. Yeah, but... <laughs> my first playthrough, so I invested it mostly in that one and Spear, I believe. And who, who do I know? Maybe the 3DS version actually has different skills for the weapons, too. That could be a thing. Mm -hmm. Um... But, uh, so... Did I just waste a healing spell? I might have. I don't know. Uh, yes, I did. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes. yeah, no. So that's the most interesting thing. Um, because it doesn't tell you these things or whatever, uh, late game, on, on my main profile, you probably, if you've watched the video, you've seen it. Um, I show you it blatantly. Uh, I had ended up leveling up uh, swordsmanship as my first thing. Because that's basically all I wanted. And then yeah. once I got to the, like, enough to where I couldn't level up swordsmanship anymore, I was like, well, let's see what Courage does. And I, I already knew what Fisticuffs was, and I hate it, no matter what. You can not yeah. you can never tell me Fisticuffs is a worthy investment, under any circumstances. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you just can't. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm I on you with that. I, I don't believe it either. Like, it's not worth it. If they made... Martial arts, the martial artist class in Dragon Quest, uh, like, good. With, like, he gets specific things for martial, uh, fisticuffs. I would probably invest in it. Like, yeah. if there was but, a reason uh, to, but it doesn't. It doesn't scale enough, you know? Yeah. Even, um, even in Dragon Quest Eleven, they didn't really fix it. Yeah. It's like... I didn't even know they had fisticuffs in Dragon S, uh, S, uh, Dragon S Eleven, what? Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. 
the I, I can't remember her name right now, but it's the character. It's the female character with the long black hair. She, oh she, shit! No, yeah, they, they did have it, didn't they? I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, it's like it's not bad, but it's like you can her vesting and spear will probably be the better choice. Yeah, for her, I forget what her weapons were. It was like fisticuffs, claw, I think. No, claw, claw. yeah. No, that was Rabs, actually. Unless she could use claws oh. too, I didn't know. No, I think no. Yeah, Raph had claw and wand, and Jane had fisticuffs and spear. Actually, his was staff because wand and staff was actually two different weapons in that game. One one was actually something very little that the characters held. Yeah, I, uh, I think only one character. Yeah, it was the healing lady that had it. Yeah. Actually, no, I think uh, I think Veronica could, ha could have it too. Uh, I don't know. I, I might remember, be remembering I, that. Oh no, she had whips. Yeah, the sisters. One sister. Well, okay. The red, the red hair, the red hat one used whips. And, he, and I think staff and yeah. uh, and uh, sister who didn't grow short, she used uh, wand and spear. Yeah. If well, I remember correctly, I, I, th I feel like we got off traffic uh, topic, but yeah, no. So that was a nice surprise late game for me. Uh, back to the skills thing, um, yeah. where you actually, um, uh, you know how swords? I don't know if you've ever leveled up fully. You know, it gives you like the uh, slash or whatever. Mm. Or whatever it's called, but this one it, it levels it up and it goes like uh, Giga -Gi -Gi Slash or something. It goes like Giga -Gi Slash then Giga -Gi 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 Slash, Giga Slash or something like that. And basically, oh. it turns it turns into a um, hits a group of enemies. I think Giga Slash was into a um, hits all enemies. Oh, that is very nice. Yeah, yes, okay. it, it's very I very nice and very powerful. Uh, I remember. Well, I do think I unlocked. A special ability for one of the characters. It's a character you're gonna get soon. With a whip. With her whip. Yeah. I remember her being fucking awesome, just summoning a fire snake. See, I don't think I've ever ha leveled up her up or in the whip or whatever. I always just said, you know, you're gonna use staffs. You're a staff person. No, but yeah, she. No, yeah, with her whip. If. Yeah, I remember messing that out. I remember getting a new skill that basically summons a giant fire snake. That's interesting. I might do a whip playthrough then this time because that that definitely sounds interesting. Yeah. Um. I might. I might have also gambled about eight hours straight just to get the best whip in the game. Oh, that one, yeah. Uh, so another interesting. Uh, wait, no, is it interesting? I forgot. I forgot what I was gonna say now. Actually, um. It was definitely related to Dragon Quest because that's what we're going to be talking about most of the time. Um, but, uh. I forgot. I'll, it'll come to me. Yep. Um. Oh! That's right. So, I know it's usually a thing that's in all the Dragon Quest games, you know? Or, since, since they've added stuff, but, like, fucking items that allow you to do spells. That you just use them in battle. Yeah, that's so, been in... I think, I think that was actually one of the biggest... Not biggest things, but in Dragon Quest 1, uh... You get the wand that you can use Fireball with. Yes, um... But, like, that's just... I, I always loved that, and they've done it so well in this one, because they have, like, each character has only... A, well, I mean, that's probably the same thing with a lot of things, now that I think about it, but... Uh, a lot of the games, but... Uh, like... I always give Yangus the staffs, believe it or not, because he doesn't use a lot of magic. So, yeah, which I, a... it might be an objective choice, but it's also pretty brilliant. I and I'm not talking to like I give him the ones for like attack magics. Not not all the times. Maybe I'll give him like a one group one, like the thunder staff. Yeah, but most of the times I give him debuff ones. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's such a not that's such a not bad idea, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh in the DS version I'm sure they had it too. I'm just trying to find out what 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 they did and didn't have. 
Um, but, uh, like, you know the guy up on the hill, up on top of the waterfall, right? And I've done this already, but you got the, you end up getting the cheese there, right? Yes. That's just, like, weird. Yeah. I, yes. I, that's one of my favorite things, because there's so many different types of cheese in this game, and it just works with the, the mouse. Yeah, the mouse can do, like, several bows, or, uh, can do several things depending on the cheese, you. Yeah. yeah. I always found that to be, like, a nice mechanic. And that's oh, yeah. never really been done before or after. Yeah, I, I only remember, I only know of a couple of classes in Dragon Quest that actually use breath magic, and they rarely show up in, like, the mainstream games. Like, yeah. I mean, Sentinels of the Stars, guys, I think there was one that actually used them, or maybe there wasn't, maybe I remember that wrong, too. Oh, fuck. Yeah. How do I go back? Okay, good, I almost put skills in the wrong thing. Oh, no. I went, I went and hit down once two more, and it scrolled me back to the top of the level up screen. Mm. That's the way, uh... Sorry. Go on. I was, uh... wasn't gonna say anything too important. No, I was just saying, that's why... That's why I personally really liked in Dragon Quest XI that, uh... You can always pay cash to reset all your skill points in a certain thing. Yeah. I mean... So then... So then that, that allows a little bit more experimentation. In that, uh, regards, that ended up being, like, a, excuse me, um, a thing, uh, in most RPGs, eventually, that you could pay cash to reset skills. It just, it took a while for it, someone to, you know, sort of pitch the idea, I guess, really, in one of the games, and then end up mm. doing it for the rest of them. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's just a smart idea to do overall, just because, uh, that means it allows for more experimentation in a playthrough. Yeah. Something really interesting about Dragon Quest 2 is not, not a lot of RPGs do this, and I'm, it's, it's the truth. Enemies also have M MP bars, so that's, like, one of the most coolest things, because that means they can only use spells a certain amount of times. Yeah, that's true. I love, I love RPGs, if the monster or enemies is magic, it's like, well, I can use it infinitely. Yeah, and they, they just bullshit spam it. <laughs> yeah, but in Dragon Quest, it's like, they, they can probably use it maybe three or four times, but after that, it's like... Yeah, well, even, like, the starter enemies in the game, like, you know the, the wisps there, the fire guys? They only can yeah. cast Frizzle once on you, and then they can never cast it on you again. Yeah. Which, uh, honestly, thank you, because that does, like, 11 damage in the PlayStation version. No, I remember that being a damaging attack. Yeah, no, I remember the Wisp being, like, if you didn't, if you, if they got a frizz on you, you probably had to either use a healing herb or, a, or heal. One of the two. Yeah. Alright, we're about to fight the, uh, the, the fish boss again. Try him again. Guy is a geezer. But yeah, you don't need to be quiet. I'm just gonna be setting up a thing that I usually do for him. Because, uh, have you okay? So when you fight Geyser in your DS version, there, uh, did you ever have to set up set up a psych up uh, thing for him? Uh, I don't know if it was necessary, but I always just using the psych up. I do use the psych up uh, feature whenever I can. All right, yeah. So I always set it up for Hero because he blocks the curses. Yeah, yeah. Because of a story spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so, okay, I was way off. No, Geyser in the PlayStation version does 23 damage, even to Yangus. Jesus Christ. He definitely does not do that much damage in the DS. Yeah, no, if, I, if I hadn't leveled up uh, some more, he would have one-shotted even Yangus. Hmm. Oh! In the PlayStation version, if you get Max Psych, uh, does your character get the purple hair or no? Yeah, they also get the uh, Goku thing. I just normally for Geyser, I never go for Max Tension because it's so hard to just do it in the PlayStation version. Mm. Gotta start to no, I uh, I learned that was a thing when I finished my playthrough, but it never happened for me. So I, that's a thing that they actually removed from the free S version. That when you get max tension, they don't uh, the hero doesn't get super sane here. Really? Yeah, I don't know if they removed that just because they worried maybe copyright, but well, that doesn't that, really make sense. That, in that doesn't make sense though because the pe the people that uh 
We're kind of yeah, Dragon Ball. Three, um, yeah, they're yeah, they're they're all just dra this isn't it the same designer as Dragon Quest or I mean Dragon Ball, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's why it's like even more confusing why they took it out. Fuck, I want to heal myself, uh, but I know that'll make my tension go back down. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to attack with the Angus and hope for the best. It's actually really weird. Uh, this is like a a point that brought up like a, a different talk we had. But how on uh, Dragon Quest is weirdly not that popular in yeah. the West. Okay, wait. I went like five minutes over the timer. I have to m stop mid fight. Oh, no. yeah. It's twenty minutes. Okay, 